I now move on to the final murder investigation, that of Olivia Pratt Corbell. Poor Olivia was murdered brutally uh, in her own home on the 22nd of August. Our officers continue to carry out extensive inquiries and I can confirm that there are a number of very positive lines of inquiry that we are pursuing. In my previous appeal, I asked for the man responsible for this brutal, callous, thoughtless attack to surrender himself to the police. Unfortunately, that individual has failed to do that. But my message to him remains the same. We will not rest until we find you, and we will find you. Again, as I've said with the appeals around both Sam and Ashley, I cannot stress enough the importance of community engagement in solving each of these crimes. We've had a wealth of information and engagement, and I'm incredibly grateful for that. I can confirm that the 35-year-old man who was the target of this attack remains in hospital seeking treatment. I can also confirm that Merseyside Police, working with its partners, have caused that male's licence to be revoked and he'll be returned to prison once his treatment has been finalised. I can also confirm and ask directly for communities to give us information for the second man that was in company with that 35-year-old man. And again, I can now confirm that we have identified that male. I've repeatedly asked for any information and help from our communities. And as I've said already in this conference, I am incredibly grateful for the sheer levels and volume of information that we've received so far. This level of engagement, this level of cooperation, and this level of working together simply must continue. I hope our communities have also seen some of our responses over the last few days to the information that they're providing. I also need to remind everybody around the MIP opportunity on our website, it's the major incident portal to upload CCTV and make contact with us directly through the MIP or indeed through Crime Stoppers on 0800 555 one, one, one. I would very much like to be able to provide further information at this time. However, and I hope everyone can understand, and as I said at the start, it's simply not appropriate to divulge anything further at this stage, as these are live investigations, and we cannot do anything that would prejudice the outcome of them. I'd also say that these investigations are incredibly fast-paced, and incredibly complex. But despite this, there are multiple lines of inquiry that we are actively pursuing. I'd like to reassure our communities that are working relentlessly on each of those murder investigations, and those main lines of inquiry are being pursued effectively. I really do appreciate, as I've said repeatedly, the engagement we've had thus far. I'd ask for it to continue, and also I appreciate the support that we have had from the media as well. Thank you very much.